Hey sexy Lexi babes and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are going to be deep cleaning my lip gloss filler machine and as you can see here I instantly ripped my glove on accident and i was just like oh my gosh i just tried to put these on they ripped that easily so i was like you know what? i'm still gonna put them on because i have too many i didn't have that many gloves left so i was like i can't just be wasting them and i go through them like crazy so i just ordered more on amazon but anywho we're gonna be rocking these gloves and we are about to deep clean this machine you guys now i'm really happy that i got this lip gloss filling machine i am ecstatic that i have it but it is a lot of work to clean and we're gonna get right into it so here i am looking inside of the filling machine looking at the gloss i had already previously sprayed it with some dawn um foaming spray and left it in as you can see i'm showing you guys what i'm looking at and i'm going to take some paper towels and wipe the gloss out before i even try to clean it i saw one of my subscribers comment for me to do this and i was like that's a very smart i obviously should try to scoop out as much gloss as i can to make the cleaning process even easier so i'm taking my paper towels and cleaning them out well cleaning the gloss out scooping as much out and wiping as much out as i can and i get my paper towels from dollar tree so um yeah because i go through them like crazy so i'm not about to spend five dollars on a roll of paper towels when i use them all day every day so yes so i want to quickly explain the difference between having a lip gloss filling machine which is filling the tubes faster and filling wholesale orders faster versus using a, using a syringe so yes having a lip gloss filling machine makes filling tubes extremely fast and super easy but the cleaning process takes at least an hour and then versus using a hand mixer and then manually filling syringes and filling your tubes that also takes at least an hour so it really depends on what you want to spend your time doing because you're going to spend the same amount of time doing both so that's how i feel about using a kitchen aid and hand um, filling the tubes versus using lip gloss filling machine it's totally up to you it's obviously easier to clean um the hand mixer is faster but the process of filling tubes is longer versus using the lip gloss filling machine if that makes sense to you guys So now here I am trying to get some behind the scenes footage to post on Instagram because I'm always trying to get new content to post on my feed. So that's why I'm using my ring light and my iPhone tripod. And I get a lot of comments of you guys asking where I get my supplies from. Nine times out of 10, I have the link to everything in my description. I have the link to my Amazon store already in my description. And then I have the individual links to items um, in my description as well. So be sure to check out my description anytime you're looking to find a product that you see me using in my video. And now I'm showing you guys a little sneak peek of what I was recording. And then I went right back to wiping out more gloss out of the filling machine because I knew that once I tried to clean it, it was going to be difficult. So I was just trying to get as much lip gloss as I can out because lip gloss is very sticky and it's just really hard to clean. So I was just make, trying to make sure I got as much as I could out. So that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm scooping more. And I even ran out of paper towels. So I had to get another roll. So now I'm opening my new um, roll of paper towels and I want you guys to pay close attention to this part because now I'm going to unscrew the top, the topper part of the lip gloss film machine and watch, just watch what happens. <laughs> just, just watch, we're watching this together right now. <laughs> and boom, y'all see all that gloss that just fell out and I'm just like in shock because I just took my precious time wiping out all of that gloss and I was just like, oh my gosh, you can see my jaw literally dropped.
So I had to get a camera and give you guys a close up because I just felt like, wow, all that hard work I just did, scooping all that gloss out just to find some more gloss that I had no idea was even there. So yes, I had to show you guys the disaster and I had to give you guys a close up so you can really see what was going on. So my trash can got filled up pretty quick because I used a whole roll of paper towels. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the trash bag and put in a new one. So at this point, I had already took some paper towels and wiped down this part of the machine as much as I could. And I'm going back in again to wipe it down even more because I really, really, really want to try to get as much of the gloss as I can out before I go take it downstairs in the sink and clean it with soap just to minimize the time and just to try to get as much gloss out again because this is very, very important. And it helps a ton, really, when you try to scoop out the gloss with paper towels before you try to clean it. So I really appreciate that subscriber who commented that because that was very smart and I definitely took your advice. So this soap is a need, it is not a want, it is a need when you are cleaning this little gloss family machine because it really, really, really helps get that gloss out because I think Dawn is really good for getting like greasy things out. So it really helps um, with the cleaning process. So I'm gonna get some hot water and put it in the sink along with the Dawn um, power wash and some dish soap. So that is the first thing that I'm gonna do right now. So I'm going to start by cleaning our topper part of the lip gloss filling machine. I'm going to start by using the hot water to try to get some of that gloss off of the machine. And then I'm going to go ahead and spray it with a power wash and use a baby bottle cleaner to um, scrape and rub the gloss off of the lip gloss filling machine. And you may have to repeat this step a few times just to really make sure the machine is clean. And of course, I'm going to be recording to get some footage for Instagram, of course, and you know, my other social medias. And yes, just watch and you will see exactly what I do and the easiest way to clean your machine. So when cleaning your lip gloss filling machine, you want to make sure you are taking advantage of that water, um, which is the water, the dish soap, and the Dawn foaming spray. So go ahead and dip the baby bottle cleaner in the water and then clean your machine and go back and forth. So that way um, you're getting that gloss off and out of the machine and you'll see the gloss inside of the water. And then what I did was just, once it had too much gloss in the water, I just put in some fresh water and did the same steps over and over again.
So here you see me touching and rubbing the machine and I'm doing this to see if I still feel a grimy texture on the machine and that lets me know if the gloss is still there and if I need to clean it again. So it still didn't feel super clean to me or as clean as I would want it to be so I went ahead and repeated that step that I just did again. So now I truly felt like the machine was clean and I'll be able to use it again. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side and make some more water with the dish soap and the Dawn Power Wash. And I'm going to go ahead and clean the top or the lid part of the topper if I must say. And um, do the same thing and clean it with the baby bottle cleaner. I'm also cleaning the little tiny parts that were in the topper part of the machine, which is the little um, swirly wire thing that I pulled out and the little white piece that I pulled out with the tweezers and um, any other little things that were part of the topper. I'm cleaning those little items as well. Also, you can find these baby bottle cleaners at the dollar store as well. So you can get them in bulk. That way you don't have to go back and forth to the dollar store every day. So just get about 10 um, your next time um, you're having a trip to the dollar store and get your paper towels. Get 10 um, baby bottle cleaners and paper towels and anything else you think you will need. Now I'm going to take those same cleaning procedures and do the same to the bottom portion of the lip gloss filling machine. Um, this one is a little bit harder to clean because it has little tiny spaces. So I found myself using things like cotton swabs and um, various things that I found around the house to help me reach these tiny spots that wouldn't allow me to reach. So yeah, I just got creative and you'll see that in this clip.
so now that the inside of the machine is fully fully cleaned i'm going to take some clorox disinfectant wipes and wipe the outside of the lip gloss vanilla machine just to really really make sure i'm getting all of those germs all of that gloss all of that stickiness off of our lip gloss vanilla machine and it's good as brand new fresh out the box So now at this point, I have removed all of the old paper towels on my desk and I'm replacing them all with new paper towels and laying fresh ones down. And lastly, I'm going again with the Clorox wipes and I'm wiping the full machine down again. Now, mind you guys, when I started this um, process, it was morning time. Now it is nighttime. I already showered and it's the end of the day. So I started this video in the morning and then I went about my day and then I worked out and then I took a shower and I came back to this. So it's late at night. So excuse me if I look a hot, hizzy mess, but I just wanted to throw that out there. That's why I have my PJs on because it's late at night and yes. So finally, 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 after all of that hard work, our machine is brand new, brand spanking new. She looking good, okay? She is fresh, she's smelling good, feeling good, feeling nice and smooth, not grimy at all. 
So that is how I deep clean my lip gloss filling machine. That is the work that it takes. So it was actually a little bit therapeutic, if I must say so myself. So the machine is finally clean. And I thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that I helped you. If you have a lip gloss filling machine and you clicked on this video because you want to get some tips on how to clean yours. But anywho, I'm not going to ramble anymore. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend about Sexy Lexi Inc. Got the hammer in the hammer in the king 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 king